Sicilian Defense, Open, Dragon, Razor Variation, 9, NXD410.BXD4B611.KB1QC7. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. G6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. B3 supports the strong d4 knight in the center. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. It is best. F3 supports the e4 pawn and prepares to develop the dark squared bishop to e3 and the queen to d2, a common attacking setup versus fianchetto systems. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on d4 and controls the e5 square. Qd2 develops the queen, defends the bishop on e3 and prepares to castle queenside. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Queenside castling gets the king out of the center, activates the rook and seeks to start an attack on the king's side. Nx d4 exchanges black c6 knight for white centralized knight. Bx d4 recaptures the knight and puts the bishop on a powerful diagonal. B6 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the a2 g8 diagonal. Kb1 moves the king to a safer square away from the half open c file and the h6 c1 diagonal. Qc7 develops the queen to the semi-open c-file and connects the rooks. This is an equal trade. Backs off. This is the only move that works. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This wins material. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This pins a bishop, which restricts its mobility. This threatens to win material. It is best. This wins material. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to win material. It is a great move. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. That bishop was free. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. This moves the queen to safety. It is excellent. This gets rid of a pawn that was posing a material threat. It is ideal. Recaptures. This threatens to win a knight. It is excellent. This is the way to win a rook. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. 
The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This prevents the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game.